dream of many Indian motorcycle enthusiasts to go to Ladakh and ride through its scenic vistas. We were given the privilege to do just that thanks to the Honda Big Wing Sun Chasers ride. Our companion for this amazing journey was the Honda Highness CB350, a cruiser that proved to be more than capable of keeping up when the going got tough, but more on that later. On the first day of the trip, we flew from Delhi to Ladakh, but we did not do any riding. It was important to first get used to the change in altitude and weather. A pleasant gathering during the evening gave me a chance to meet the other 23 riders who would be participating in the journey with me. After seeing some pleasant traditional performances, we called it a day and went to bed to recharge for the travel next day. Our first morning in Leh began at 8 am with a flag off and we had roughly 100 kilometers to cover and three monasteries to visit. We first went to Thikse Monastery, then to Stakna and finally to Hemis. Getting to visit these monasteries was such a fulfilling experience and felt like a nice outing, not just for the body but also for the soul. The roads were nothing short of amazing and the same goes for my ride. The Highness was producing plenty of power from its 350cc engine and I just sailed my way through the entire day effortlessly. Day 3 started early as we had to go to Khardungla and then to Nubra. The famous Khardungla Pass is some 45 kilometers away from Leh. While the weather was pleasant when we left, it started to rain after about 5 to 6 kilometers of riding and we had to take out our rain gear. As we inched closer to Khardungla, the fog started to become denser and soon it started to snow as well. The serene white landscape was more mesmerizing than anything I can describe with words. However, this change in landscape also meant a change in riding conditions. We had to be a bit more cautious of the surface and how we take corners. The tires did a great job of finding grip and with a bit of cautious operation of the accelerator and brake, we were able to continue riding. We managed to reach South Pulu where one has to show their permit in order to proceed any further. However, the snow played spoil sport and the police asked us to wait there till the snowfall had stopped. Even after waiting for 2-3 to three hours, there was no change in the weather, so we decided it was best to head back to Leh. The next day we had the mission to visit the famous Pangong Lake. It was about 230 kilometers away from our place of stay and we covered this distance in roughly 8 hours. This was the time when I really appreciated the relaxed riding position of the Highness. It did not put too much stress on my hands, back or legs, allowing me to ride longer without having to stop. Despite the long journey, the bike was very reliable throughout and did not mind the elevation change since Pangong Lake sits at 13,852 feet above sea level. Another thing that we really appreciated was the bike's ability to cope with the bad roads along the way. Many spots along the way were under constructions and the surface wasn't exactly the smoothest. While the uneven roads tested our riding skills, the Highness was there to give a helping hand. The traction control system and the slip and assist clutch were there to save the rider in case of an extreme throttle change. Another thing to note is the fact that the peak torque of 30 Newton meters is delivered as low as 3000 RPM, which was very handy in these conditions. We also did not have to change gears too often and when we did, the previously mentioned slip and assist clutch meant minimal effort while pulling the clutch lever. We finally reached the camp at Pangong Lake around 4 pm and waiting for us was a meal that felt well earned after the long ride. After having slept under the open sky, we woke up to prepare for our journey back to Leh via Varela Pass. This was going to be the last day of our trip and we left Pangong Lake with a sense of longing knowing that our time in this heavenly place was drawing to a close. Still, we carried on enjoying every passing kilometer. Situated at a massive elevation of 17,427 feet, the Varela Pass is only visited by those who have a taste for adventure and thrill. The roads leading to the pass are full of loose gravel and can be challenging for many. Our Highness, however, was more than capable of making this journey. Time and time again, the bike had proven to be up for any sort of challenge, but the journey to the Varela Pass and making our way back to Leh only reaffirmed this once more. 
It was very clear to me why so many people yearn for a trip to Ladakh. Not only do you get a chance to break free from the claustrophobic crowds of the city, you also get to nourish your soul. The vast open skies, towering mountains and fresh air make this a journey that should be on your bucket list. One thing is for sure, if you plan to ride through Ladakh and really want to reach all the amazing spots that we went to, you surely need a machine that is capable, comfortable and reliable. As luck would have it, our Highness CB350 was just that. Needless to say, it would be a pleasure to visit Ladakh again and see even more places with a companion like this. Thank you.